They were days old. A company came in and they're doing the restoration and taking care of a house. And they ended up coming upon a group of baby raccoons. They were young raccoons, so we couldn't wait too long to intervene. We did try and do an attempt at reunification. Unfortunately, mom didn't come back. After warming him up a little bit, we went right into giving him some formula. We always give them stuffed animals just to kind of give, give them something to snuggle up to. And then as they start getting older and opening their eyes, we start adding toys, adding small things that they, you know, can touch. And then once they move to the outside enclosure, try to make it like nature. Once they get outside, that's when we really step back so that they have the best chance of survival out in the, the wilderness and they aren't reliant on humans. We want them to have that healthy boundary between humans and themselves. The personalities between each raccoon is insane. Some of them are just really sweet and lovable. Some of them are super playful. In an enclosure, you can tell their personalities. I really love to keep any of the animals that we get in together, especially like raccoons, because they tend to form little groups. So I always, if we have a group together, they stay in that group forever until they are finally released. You get so attached and you just worry so much, like, okay, they're out there now. We prepare them enough. It's kind of like sending your kids out in the world. <laughs> It is one of the most rewarding things in the world to take an animal and just watch them be like, oh my God, I, this is my world now.